Well, hey, um, here's a game that I'm bad at. Yes, I did say 3DO. Full motion video games were definitely the 90s. Oh, Night Trap. Dana Plato. Yep. She was, uh. Was it Different Strokes? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get into this because I don't think this is going to be something I'm going to keep doing. I know where a couple of these guys are, but, uh. Not all of them. So, basically the point of this game is to capture these vampire guys that are walking around. And you do that by, like, knowing the access code. And then whenever they step on certain things like that, you push a button and you catch them. And mainly you just have to really remember where they are. Oh, here comes one. He's going outside. I caught two of seven. I really suck at this game. Oh, crap. Well, I missed them. Then you got these little cutscenes also when the uh, family shows up. What? Those little pops means I miss one. Uh, must have been in there. Ooh, here comes one. Gotcha. And you gotta constantly flip through. And sometimes you gotta pay attention to what the family does also because they change the uh, access code. And the access code needs to match whatever they have it on or else you cannot use the traps. Oh, looks like our victims are arriving. Uh oh, oh, that's the mother coming through another secret passage. There's those guys. Oh, there's Sarah. Creepy girl. Ah, uh, let's see. I know these things are going to be creeping around somewhere. They're never really around where the uh, people are, damn it. Probably catch two of them here on the stairs. There we go. Got two of them. That's five out of twelve I could have captured. Oh. Sneaking back in the house. Oh, I missed one somewhere. Gotcha. Oh, got him too. Comes two sneaking in the back door. I 
there's some up top. I missed them. Knowing the layout of the house also really helps here, too. house like this later on where I can have like secret traps and passages all over the place just without the vampires walking around yeah. oh here comes some Yeah, if you can't tell, Eddie is like that guy from Friday the 13th, the uh, crazy guy from town that was in part one and two. He's like there to warn you, but he's kind of crazy, so nobody really believes him. Ah, oh, miss these guys on the roof. They're probably going to try to go in through the bedroom. Also, this version seems to really respond a lot better than the uh, C. What is it? Sega CD version. There's a different version, but this one's a lot clearer. The video's a lot better, and it seems to. Oh, they changed the code. Uh, I think it changes to yellow. That's what happens if uh, if you miss the code change. You're pretty much stuck, and you got to scan through every single one of the codes until you find the right one. But I, I'm pretty sure that yeah. The second one's yellow. I think the next one's like purple. But I can't remember. So I'm at 18 of 29 possible. This is 80s. Yeah, we got vampires to catch. Crap. Okay, you're going into the bathroom. I think. Bathroom? Nope. Oh, commando guy. Oh, I missed somebody. Missed him. So that means commando guy is about to bite it. Do a quick scan. Yeah, he gets caught. Can he be saved? Probably not right now. Nope. Ah, I could have gotten up with the bed. Going into the bathroom. <laughs> Fling you off the house. Nothing going on right now except the... 
Little victims doing their dance or whatever. Crap! Ah, missed him too. Uh, you look like you're going out in the hallway. Can I catch you out here? Yes, I can. He wears his sunglasses at night. Ah, missed him. Here comes two more. Let's see if I can get them at the bed. Yeah, got them. Some traps you can't actually spring on some of these guys, like that one right there. It looks like I probably should have been able to catch them, but no. I think that's more of an exposition sort of thing anyways, because they come up the stairs and he walks across the way. Ah, the code changed. It's not purple. Uh, is it green? I can't remember. It's not purple. It's let's try green. Dana Plato. Oh, this guy. I'll try to get some more of him in here as soon as I do something. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that alone. Uh oh. Come on, I saw you try to wander in here. There you are. More exposition. We got vampires to catch, though. Oh, where did they go? Oh, it's not green. Maybe it's red. Run away, derpy kid. It's not red. <laughs> it's orange. Damn it. I don't know the access color.
Uh, well, here's where I kind of hope I got it right. And uh, if you all don't know, this is the one scene that they actually showed when they tried to uh, get this game banned back in 90... 94? 95? 96? Somewhere around there. We'll just stay here on this infamous scene and watch this for a little while. Since I've only got 23 out of 50, they're probably about to kick me off of the game. Creepy guys being creepy. All right. Yep. It's orange. Yay. Now let's see if I can save her. Kill those vampires, woman. Slap them. And climb out the window? So I saved her. Found out it's a co it's orange is the code. Uh, captured another one. Where is that family? They're probably about to change the code again. Red. Okay. See, that's how you're supposed to find out what... Oh. Yeah, this is where I failed. Derp. Yep, that's one of the game overs. If you don't catch enough of them, it cuts you off like that. I saved the girl, though. <laughs> uh, Dana Plato. Here's just a rundown of people who were things in the 80s and early 90s. Oh, I wasn't able to get much on the, the guy who got out of that car. He actually goes in and starts acting like a um kind of like a bad Jamaican accent asking for his boat. He thinks his boat is in the house or something like that. Uh maybe I'll do another one of these, but I am not good at this game. And most of it came from me not knowing that that code was an orange. I bet I could keep going if I knew that was right. Also, I kind of guess this means, since he cut me off there, that he just put all of the girls in danger, seeing how there's nobody to trip the traps anymore, so all of the Augs are going to end up getting the girls, and yeah, so screw that guy. Saying I put the girls in danger, I saved that one girl, and he kind of just turned the whole thing off. Living, dead, or undead. Nineteen ninety three. That's that. 